Hey everyone, I had to delete part 12 because I got a notice from a company and I got to redo this part because of that. What you are seeing right here is Blaster. And this cabinet by Williams Electronics. This is a Duramold cabinet. And I heard it's more durable than the actual actual arcade cabinet. This cabinet was seen was used for Bubbles, this, and Sinistar, I believe. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, one more thing. My first video got copyrighted because I was playing Neon Nights. That is a great song. Oh god. But I do not want to risk my channel being taken down due to copyrights. So, yeah. Go. Now we delve into one of the cutest games of 1982 that has been ever done by Konami. And the and this guy appeared in the game Mega Zone makes a cameo appearance and replaces the spike gates these little piggies cried wee 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 all the way to the wolves hideaway and now the mama pig must save them from their hungry jaws move her up and down in a cage while she throws meat to distract them for points and darts to puncture their balloons for more points. It's time to pig out with Poo Yan. <laughs> If any of you recognize this 
arts. This is the kick plate of Galaga. And this, this is the concept art of one of the aliens. Pretty, pretty sweet, am I right? But I also hate these guys. And I will film it. Not my plug and play, but I will see it very soon. So. And make it another revenge trip. Yes. I do not like these guys so much. As well as the Galaxians and the Zevians. So that is it. Also, also, before Galaga, here is one of my most famous. No, scratch that. Here is the most famous Pac-Man sequel of all time and one of the greatest artwork designs I have ever seen when I was little. And I finally came across it last year. Ms. Pac-Man, if you did know, and if you didn't know this already, this game was created in 1981 by General Computing Corporation and licensed to Bally Midway right here. And... It was licensed to Namco in 1994. Pretty long time for this to be over in Japan. But it was successful. Man munches her way petitely through the dots while being chased by four monsters. Every dot she munches is another point on her score as she munches her way toward the energizers. Gobbling one of these, she can then pursue the blue monsters for more points, but she's running again when the monsters change back to their original colors. She'll score extra points if she catches the fruits that appear briefly in the maze. You've chosen Ms. Pac-Man, a very petite lady. See that, guys? This artwork in my opinion, is amazing. That is one of the best artwork I have ever seen by Midway. And when I was little, I didn't know that these games existed. So, let's see gameplay, shall we? Yeah. The sequel to the original Donkey Kong, created by Nintendo in 1982. After Mario got his. No. <clears throat> I'm sorry about this. <clears throat> okay. 
Mario has finally captured Donkey Kong and trapped him in a cage. And it is up to his son, Donkey Kong Jr., to set him free. If you can tell by the marquee. All three of these games were unique and fantastic. The similar thing that they did with the Super Mario Land series. They switched up the stories. Mario, beware of Donkey Kong Jr. He's crafty, he's fearless, and out to rescue Papa Kong from your clutches. Scoring points as he climbs, avoiding the brigade of snapping jaws, ape-eating birds, and energy pods. Watch out, Mario. The son of Donkey Kong is out to rescue Papa. See the artwork on the side of the cabinet? This is called Nint Pick. I'm not sure what their name is, but I believe these are a. I don't know how, but these are called Nint Pickers, and these are called. I think. Live bear traps. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but hey, it's Nintendo. Nintendo did it, so I don't know. Begin. around the maze, gobbling up dots, scoring points, and enticing the monsters close to the Energizer dots so he can turn the monsters blue and then gobble them up and score more points. If a cherry or a strawberry or a lemon should appear in the maze, he may stop to munch a bit and make still more points. It's the Pac-Man, known to all and loved by many. <laughs>
is to rescue the lady from Donkey Kong. Reach the top and score points by jumping over the barrels hurled down on you by Donkey Kong. Make extra points by jumping up to get the hammer, and then use it to smash the barrels and the fireballs on that level. Move on up the ladder, jumping barrels and avoiding fireballs to reach the second hammer. Reach the top, and Donkey Kong grabs the lady and moves up as you begin again. Michael, this is a... So sorry about the cut being interrupted like that. But getting back to this video. I would like to mention that that design has been used in Mario Party 6, I believe, <laughs> which was an excellent idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But remember, these games, the joysticks, are tiny. Yes. And Qbert's joystick. Okay, let's see the next game. Spawn from the foolish base in the... My god. Take two. Spawn from the great space invaders comes these foolish aliens created by Napco in 1979 and licensed to Midway in 1980. In 1980, there was Namco made their own ripoff of this game called King and Balloon. I never played that one, but I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we come from Space Invaders, and we. We are Galaxian, and the aliens are upon you. Dare take us on, bring it on. <laughs> we are the Galaxians, and we will destroy you. <laughs> Oh boy. <sighs> this guy does a better alien voice than me. I thought I tried that out for this game. As you can probably tell, we are the Galaxians. And your mission is to destroy them. <laughs> and this and the flagship has also made an appearance in Galaga and other Namco games. What if I told you 
Oh, I wish I could see this cabinet in person. Maybe someday. We are the Galaxians. With but a single ship to stop the attacking aliens, we can zap them while they're in formation, or get them in flight for bigger points. And if we can zap the flagship and its escorts, that's best of all. We are the Galaxians. Okay, Jared, you need to... These episodes were brought back by Shout Factory and and the great guys that are on this show. So I want to do these to do the roll call for these games as well as make up some things to say about these games and they're unique in a sort of way <clears throat> all right Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I gotta make this quick. Alright. <clears throat> this game was created by Namco in 1982. And I believe it was released after Dig Dug. Or before Dig Dug. This game is famous worldwide and this is in the same cabinet as its sequel pull position 2 but oh yeah and I I don't like this game because of the turns but I completed it once online and I couldn't show that but it's in the same cabinet because there is no no original artwork for this Except on the bezel and the marquee. So, yeah. Our first game today. Pole position. And it is an exhilarating game. Yes, it is. And very wild. Okay. Next. A rocket game in outer space. Star Wars 1983 Atari and license from Lucas Films. I believe that is correct. Star Wars and the Force is with you. Donkey Kong Jr. and Son tries to free Papa. And last but not least, this is Joust by Williams Electronics. Oh boy. 
I'm not sure how to explain this one, but I will try. <clears throat> you are jousting in a volcano, and the object of, of the game is to is to collect eggs before they hatch into more enemies. And the Williams games back in the early 80s leave a message before you play and I am not sure what this game means. As always, I will be happy to show this. Okay. Nineteen eighty two Williams Electronics. I believe I saw this game at that arcade. I'm not sure. But <clears throat> there was a sequel, if you all have seen it, called Joust 2 Survival of the Fittest in 1986. Yeah. Another game that's super famous. And this has a big pinball machine <clears throat> named after this game. I believe it came out after the video version. I don't know. But I am not stupid, guys. And for all you all of you cyber bullies Jousting is not a game. Jousting is a way of life, sire. Ride proudly on thy ostrich, toppling thy opponents from their mounts. Strike them soundly from the top. Then grab up the eggs that fall before they can hatch into more foes. Flap thy wings to avoid danger and enter into a manly sport of jousting. My game, sire Chris, is joust. This cabinet is used for many Bally Midway MCR games like one called Bump and Jump License from Data East and one called Lazarian which was licensed from Zachariah, who did the software, I am not sure. Well, it seems that what? See the. This cabinet. See. If you have seen this cabinet. I have my first time. <clears throat> this cabinet 
is used for the game Mappy <coughs> 1983 Namco and Light License to Valley Midway. Yeah. All right, everyone. <coughs> We are going to end with the greatest game known to mankind. I hope you all enjoyed this little fantasy trip. <laughs> I mean, for some some of you guys this trip down memory lane and stay tuned for more it's the original space invaders where advancing aliens get closer and closer while firing on your laser bases fire back using the bases for protection every zapped invader scores points and the most points of all are scored by zapping the saucer it's a game of invaders from space, an old favorite. Okay, get some points. Can't get points unless you shoot. You gotta shoot, Dottie. Good. Look out, look out. There you go. There you go, good.